We're in Dearborn right now, and we have decided to stop at a restaurant called Al Amir, which is supposed to be the very best Middle Eastern restaurant in the area. There are millions of them. You go down the street and it's just everything is Middle Eastern, everything written in Arabic. It's like a little Middle East, mm -hmm. probably people from a whole lot of countries in the Middle East. So we're going to go and try the food because we're pretty excited. We love this mm -hmm. kind of food. And we'll take a few pictures and we don't want to be real loud or boisterous or anything in there. So we may not do a lot of filming. We'll just do a review afterward. We'll take some pictures of the food. Maybe do a little talking here and there. All right. We're going to try this food out at Al Amir's. This is on the corner of Miller and Warren in Dearborn, Michigan. This is the Alamir platter. It has chicken shawarma, meat shawarma, um, kofta, two kofta. That looks like a two kebabs. That's chicken, and that's either beef or lamb. It looks delicious. And then what are these things here? This is the salad, this is hummus, and this is pita bread. done eating at Al, Al Amir. Uh -huh. That was so good. It's pretty amazing. Definitely go. I don't know what else to say other than <laughs> there's a reason that they're a James Beard Award recipient. It's great food. That's the best Middle Eastern food I've had since, since the last time that I was in Istanbul. And it's full of Middle Eastern people in there, so that's a good sign. <laughs> a really good sign. Also, it's in the middle of like an entire Middle Eastern town, basically. But anyway, it was super awesome. Great. We had a great experience. The service was excellent. The food was top notch. The, the surrounding seats were fun. not well, well lit. What? I said the surrounding streets oh. were not well lit. Okay, so I had a blast. What do you think, Matt? Thumbs up for Alamir. Let's go there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner tomorrow. I think it's a good idea. We thank you for watching. Hungry Hotions. Bye. Bye. So we're going to try out this restaurant right here on Michigan. Michigan Avenue. Michigan Avenue. It's called Malik Al Kebab. And we're going to see how it compares with the number one rated, what we found online that was the number one rated. This one's... A few after that, but again, there are probably a hundred to choose from in in one city. So let's check it out. Let's go. We are at Malek, and um, we just got some of the bread. And Matt says this is uh, like a garlic garlic tasting. And then this red one is more of. A, what kind of taste, Matt, would you say? Spicy garlic? They kind of, they both smell like garlic -y, don't they? But anyway, the bread, I will get a video of them making the bread, just like the last place we went. It's really fun to watch. So this salad is called Fatouche Salad. And Matt, what do you think about it? It's really good. It's got a little uh, zesty taste to it. It's delicious. And the hummus is amazing. 
Mm, it's just really great. So we've already attacked the food a little bit and filled our plates a little bit, but Matt, why don't you explain what meats these are? Point and then say what it is. This is chicken kebab. Chicken kebab? This is a shish kebab with lamb. Uh -huh. Two kofta kebab. Mm. This is a chicken breast. Uh -huh. And this is lamb, and I forget the word. Uh huh. We got lamb instead of chicken. That's right. It's a mixture with vegetables and, and um, spices and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks really, really, really good, doesn't it? late at night we have had like the most amazing dinner what do you have to say about the comparison between the number one rated that we went to and I like, Malik <clears throat> I like this one better the uh, the uh, shish kebabs at the other one the cook was better these were just slightly over but still really good and the kofta here oh my gosh the kofta here was the best I can remember ever having like ever, yeah. like that I can remember having. It's been a long time since I've had it. it, it was, the kofta was the star of the platter here. Spicy, juicy, and that's like a main thing is that they keep it juicy. And um, this one had fries and rice. The other one didn't have fries and rice. This one did not have the um, shawarma. Uh, the last one had shawarma. I wasn't a big fan of the shawarma at the last place, um, so I was fine not having it here, and I kind of liked having fries and rice kind of like a little bit different both places it was ten dollars more here and i think it was worth it oh, yeah. so this one's not number one rated this is up there maybe second or third even but um this one i think is better the other one's more family oriented and this one's just a little i mean this one's family oriented too well, it's more hip this one's more hip that's what i'd say yeah it's a more hip place for families like a, a there was a younger crowd maybe a little bit more lively crowd maybe a more diverse crowd Anyway, I don't Anyways, know. Anyways, I need That's a review, and we're sticking to it. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hungry Oceans. Bye. Bye.